and we were going to go straight into questions. Uh, we're going to start with Manny Navarro from The Athletic. Manny, if you had a question for Cam. Uh, hey, Cam. Obviously, um, you know, everybody's paying attention to the news and, and what's happening with college football and the speculation and all that. I know the players have been very vocal about their support. Um, where do you stand uh, with that? What we stand by that is we just take it one day at a time. You know, we come out and compete every day. We won't try to look at the social media and stuff. Whenever we get our chance, we don't go. We're going to be ready. Awesome. Next up, we have Chris Stock from Inside the U. Chris, if you had a question for Cam. Hi, Cam. Just kind of curious. Uh, I know you put on a little bit of weight. Um, just anything that you've noticed with, with your skills, with your abilities in practice and, and also, why was it a focal point for you to again add a little bit more weight a year, just like you did last year? Uh, I gained more weight for a reason because, you know, going into the season, I got a mindset that we, we're in a fast tempo offense, so I'm going to be getting hit from left and right, and I still got to get back on the ball. So I'm, I gained more weight to wear down the defense. Great. Cam, next up we have Susan Miller Degnan from the Miami Herald. Susan, if you had a question for Cam. Hey there. Hi, Cam. Hey. Hey. Thanks, Cam and Gorby. <laughs> anyway, um, so I guess uh, it seems like uh, the coaches have been very vocal about you guys, about being supportive of the players' wishes to play, at least from what I see on Twitter. Um, you know, how, you know, how do you feel about that? And and I wanted to know, like, who's the leader on the team, and what coaches give you information every day on what's happening in the ACC? Um, and do you get, you know, informed by your coaches every day? Do you talk about it? Um, in this situation, coaches, coach, players play. Uh -huh. And I think we, as a as a group of Miami Hurricane players, we all have a voice that we should stand up as one that we want to play. Why do you think it's important, Cam? Because some people, the, some people don't want to go home. I think going home is risking than than stand on campus because we have the best medical. We have the best medical staff at Miami that's taking care of us. Thank you. Cam, yeah, next up, we're going to go to David Ferrones of the Sun Sentinel. David, if you had a question for Cam. Hi, yes, Cam. Um, well, I want to know also, you know, with all you guys, um, you know, showing your support, saying you want to play, uh, can you also detail just uh, the work you guys put in uh, during this whole pandemic? Because that's got to make it tougher to, to give up on a season potentially and uh, just getting to this point, uh, you know, detail kind of uh, all the work you put in. Well, it, it, the work started from the summer, you know. Whenever we got that chance coming in to work, everybody had a mindset that we got to work and we want to win. You know, we, we take every day, one day at a time, that we have to grind because we don't know when our name going to be called. So we're going to be ready to work. Awesome. Cam, next up we have Matt Shodell from Kane Sport. Matt, if you had a question for Cam. I do have a question for Cam. Hey, Cam. Um, so, uh, you know, obviously you've talked a lot about you guys banding together and, and being united and, and trying to get the season played. Um, I don't think we, we haven't asked you, but how worried are you the season will be canceled? I mean, do you think it's a, a likelihood? Do you think it's very unlikely? Do you have any sort of insight on it at all on if you guys will play or won't play at this point? Uh, I, I don't really know about the situation. You know, just coming to 2020, you know, it started from spring when we, we had four great practices as an offense and defense. You know, this pandemic stuff really, like, ruined a lot of stuff. But as a group, we're coming in with a mindset that we got to come together as one unit with the coaches and players. Great. Cam, we got time for a few more. We're going to go to David Wilson of the Miami Herald. David, if you had a question for Cam. Hey, Cam. Um you uh, shared the, uh, the, the image, I guess, that's been going around of the, like, uh, the we are united, we want to play. Um, it has obviously a bunch of different things proposed in it. And obviously one of the big things that people have talked about in there is the idea of a college football players association. And, and a big part of what's been going on over the last 24 hours has been 
not just guys at individual schools working together, but guys, you know, at different schools communicating and being all united. How important do you think that is, the idea of not just all of Miami being united, but Miami being united um, with schools all across the country? Um, you know, this, with this 2020 stuff, you know, it comes with ups and downs. And right now we're in a down situation. Now, the next day we have to determine if we're going to be up. The decision is on whenever we make it. And the last one is Tom D'Angelo of the Palm Beach Post. Tom, if you had a question for Cam. Hey, Cam. Uh, one more on this. You know, today was a really strange day. And then it's one. Tom, I think your audio went out. You got me? Yes, we can hear you now. Okay. So, so what was the, what was it like amongst teammates <clears throat> when you first heard that we thought the Big Ten was canceling the season? That may be different now, but it kind of everything just kind of started uh, is blowing up from there and all, all kinds of theories and all. Were you guys concerned? Did you guys start talking that, you know, could this happen to us? Just what was it, what was it like around that te the team when that was coming out? I mean, I don't really speak on Big Ten. I'm just worried about ACC, our conference. You know, we ready to play, and we don't worry about what's on the outside. We worry about Miami Hurricane. We ready to play no matter what. Cam, okay, I lied. I got one more from you for David Ferrone, so the Sun Sentinel, but this will be the last one. David, if you had the last question for Cam. Hi, Cam. Yeah, I also just want to know uh, how the freshman running backs are doing. Uh, Jalen Knight and, and uh, Don Cheney Jr. I know Don uh, also wasn't going to play in, in the spring, and then, you know, now this let him come back, I guess. So uh, just your impressions of, of them. Well, them boys, they came in with a mindset. They was ready to work, and they following my steps. You know, just coming out to practice, they see me out to practice lifting, um, doing more conditioning with Coach Feely. You know, they see me do it, so they want to do it too to be prepared because – I ain't know what, what's going to happen to me. If I go down, they got to step up, you know, next man up. So every day they got to take care of their body, just like I take care of mine. Every man for themselves. Awesome. Cam, thanks for spending a few minutes with us today, and uh, good luck the rest of camp.